Hello and welcome to the last in the present series of They Think It's All Over with David and Jonathan is a Commonwealth and European triple jumping champion who currently holds the world indoor record set on this show when Rory goosed her during Field the Sportsman. <laughs> Ashley Hansen. With Gary and Rory is the BBC's face of motorsport who says her ideal evening would be a romantic night in with Elvis Presley. Well, stick around after the show and I'll lend you a shovel. <laughs> Susie Perry. <laughs> we get going with our handbags round about the petty squabbles between sportsmen. Gary, Rory and Susie, it's Britain's top two Formula One drivers for you. Here's David Coulthard doing what he does best. And here's Eddie Irvin doing what he does best. <laughs> so why the bad feeling between the two Grand Prix also runs? Gary's team. Now, Susie, your sport is super bikes, isn't it? Is that right? Correct. Super bikes. Yes. Now, I've known quite a few bikes in my time, but, <laughs> but none of them were super. What, what makes a bike a super bike? It's, it's a bike that's uh, between 750 and 1,000 cc. 750cc, that's the engine, is it? That's the engine, they're four strokes, whereas oh. the GP bikes are two strokes. Whereas Gary's 218 way. strokes, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so, but you don't like this is Formula One we're talking about in this question, and you don't like that. Well, you know, it's not really proper sport, is it? Formula One. So you think no. two wheels is sexier than four wheels? Definitely. Well, I'm a unicyclist. <laughs> David's got a wheelchair. <laughs> Yeah. Four wheels, right? <laughs> I'm sorry, it says four wheels, yeah. But I agree with you about I think it's a very boring sport. If, if I want to watch a bunch of overpaid Nancys going around in circles, I go to White Hart Lane. <laughs> um, apparently their team have developed, um, Irvin and Cullen's team have developed a new form of overalls, all, all in one thing. But the zip is up the back, up the rear, so they can go to the toilet without taking it off. It's an idea developed by Team Barrymore. <laughs> You make me naughty, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, you must ask because you're a motorsport person. Yeah. I do know the answer. Go on, tell us then. Um, I love you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> do you, Rory? I love you I too. Knew, I knew it, I knew <laughs> um, Well, I think that Irvine said that Coulthard would never be world champion and he got a bit miffy about it. Is a correct but answer for three points. Well done, Susie. <laughs> Yes. It dates back to an article written by Eddie Irvin in The Sun in which he dismissed Coulthard's chances of ever winning the world title. Coulthard replied, it's difficult to understand someone who has got two faces. Well, that's rich coming from someone who's got one face with four corners. <laughs> Eddie Irvin refused to take part in a team photo recently saying, send out some f***er in my helmet, they'll never know the difference. <laughs> David Gower pulled off an identical trick on the 1986 Australian tour when he persuaded a T-boy to go out wearing his helmet. He was found out though when the T-boy scored an effortless 136. <laughs> David, Jonathan and Asher, its model and occasional tennis player Anna Kornikova for you, seen here losing to the unknown Tatiana Panova in the first round of this year's Wimbledon. Oh dear. Now, it's not a person that she fell out with, but a corporation, the BBC itself. But why, David's team? Before we uh, get onto that, can I welcome... <laughs> <laughs> but no, to be polite, may I welcome Ashia to the show, because Ashia is so lovely having you, and what a beautiful name. Ashia Handsome. Am I right thinking that Ashia is a Ghanaian name for... it means uh, born on a Sunday? That's right. But the second name confused me, because Hanson, as we know, is Scottish for miserable every Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> David, can I be honest with you, David was cross when you turned up today. Because really I told him he had a beautiful jump on the show, he thought we bought him a lovely new Pringle to... <laughs> So there was a question. Sorry, Anna Kornikova. I thought she was a model, actually. I you thought, thought she modelled for us. You used to do modelling, didn't you? Did you model in Japan, Susie? Yes, a while ago. What, what did you model in Japan? <laughs> Just, a... you know, stuff. 
you know, David does quite a lot of uh, this promotional stuff. He does the modelling, he does the photographs for those walk-in baths. <laughs> he is a natural. Somehow he gets that confused look on his face. Perfect. <laughs> so, Anna Kornikova. <laughs> I've got a lot of complaints though. A couple of weeks ago on the show, I knocked Tim Henman. And people found in the complaint, they pointed out that of course he led us to victory in the, 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 the tennis cup. <laughs> <laughs> the Davis Cup, that's it. He knows uh, well, there's a lot of, there's so many cups. How do you keep up? I don't know how you keep <laughs> up, you sports cup. people. There's a cup for this <laughs> and a cup for that. Tennis cup. Anyway, he won a cup. And people complained and said I shouldn't have knocked him for that. But you know, come on, he, he won it against a bunch of ties. Presumably he was playing a bloke who was just holding a wok. You can't get any touch in with a wok. I've tried. They're not known for their tennis. According to David, they're known for their ping pong, but not for their tennis. That's all, that's all. Ashia, you live in Birmingham, don't you know? I do, Did yes. you experience the recent earthquake? <clears throat> I did. Wow, yeah. what was it like? Did you actually feel it shaking? Yeah, I thought it was a truck coming through the house. <laughs> Sorry, you thought it was a truck coming through the house? <laughs> she lives yeah, in Birmingham, well, that's a normal Saturday night right, in. Come on. <laughs> Don't bother getting up, it's a truck coming through the house. I thought, well, and there's two cars on the drive. How the hell did it get up the drive? <laughs> Ashia, do you agree with drug testing at all? Actually, I had one on Friday. Really? I did. <laughs> Is it a wee in the little cup or? Wee in the cup. You wee in a cup. A wee in a cup. And how does one get the job of drug testing for the ladies too? <laughs> Because this won't last forever, this won't be here forever. <laughs> I have to have something to put You're right, you're right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anna Cornicova. <laughs> She's a tennis player. Apparently, yeah. yeah. She's a good looking young lady. She is. I, but you know what? I do know this because there was an interview on the BBC. There was. After the tennis. And like most men, I wasn't really listening because when she's on, I just turn the sound down, light a few candles, <laughs> make sure the movement sensor has been disabled. <laughs> They'll cut all that out. I saw this, <laughs> and she was interviewed, and whatever, whatever wave-faced poltroon they had doing the interviews after tennis dared to suggest to her that she didn't deserve the position she held in tennis. Is the correct answer for three points. <laughs> yes, after that defeat, Anna was interviewed by the BBC's Gary Richardson. She stopped the interview three times because she didn't approve of the questions, whereupon BBC Sport retaliated by showing the whole interview unedited. Richardson offended Kornikova by asking her if she thought she was doing too many commercials, but she said no, the only thing worrying her was consolidating all her debts into one manageable monthly payment. <laughs> It wasn't a great day for Gary Richardson. That same afternoon, he had a row with Pete Sampras when he accused him of jumping up and down on his bonnet and pulling off his windscreen wipers. <laughs> and at the end of that round, David's team had three points and Gary's team had three points. to ask what's going on Gary's team here's the unlikely meeting of former world number one boxer Mike Tyson and reigning world number one gay rights activist Peter Tatchell can, can you say something positive that you oppose discrimination against gay people that would be great <laughs> so why the meeting of those particular minds Gary's team did Tatchell obviously misunderstood the expression Iron Mike <laughs> I don't want to be party to homophobia because I think homophobia is a terrible thing. I'm a great supporter of the lesbian community. <laughs> I buy all the videos. Can you show yeah. them the title to that? Mm -hmm. Force I, don't, I don't understand, but you know what? I know what you're thinking probably. You're sitting there and you've got some time in You're thinking about the sort of children we would have to get on. <laughs> Imagine that combination of drop-dead sexy good looks and your knowledge of bikes. Eh? Imagine. Can you imagine? <laughs> It's, it's what it, what it said it was. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. thought you might get this one, Gary. About the fact that Tyson was a bit homophobic. Because he said, he said yeah. some horrible things about someone recently. Miss Lennox, Lennox Lewis. Lennox yeah, Lennox Lewis. Lennox he said Lewis. Stuff. Yeah, we'll give you three points for that. Well done, yeah. flew all the way to Memphis to accuse Mike Tyson of being anti-gay. After a brief exchange of views, Tatchell said, and you're not going to use homophobic insults anymore. To which Tyson replied, I'll use them, but I won't mean them. 
as the protesters held up a banner reading, Jesus Christ is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. And since Jesus is everywhere, that means he's technically British. <laughs> Researchers at Loughborough University have worked out that the average person has an 85% chance of getting brain damage if hit by a punch from Mike Tyson. That's okay, said Frank Bruno, so there's a 37% chance it won't happen. <laughs> David's team, here's yours. He needs to better 8 metres 59 and basically to challenge the world record. Tremendous speed down the road! <laughs> Is that um, Emil Heskey's training regime? <laughs> Emil! 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 I think I know what that is. Following recent tragic events, I believe that's a prototype to test a new swimming pool for celebrities in which no one can drown. <laughs> what do you think, Captain? I think it's what happens when you fly EasyJet. <laughs> Have you ever flown EasyJet? You must be It's marvellous. EasyJet's fantastic. For five or more, they let you yeah. land the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I was exhausted when I got there because I had the pedalling bit. <laughs> Isn't that, that programme on Channel 5? Do you watch Channel 5? Is, there are programmes on Channel 5? <laughs> Alternative sports, something like that. On Channel 5. Yeah, I'll give you three points oh, for that. Well, well done. done. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, that was the headlong dive as seen on Channel 5's International King of Sports, a programme in which the channel compensates for not having any sports by inventing new ones. Other events include the 200 metre backwards run, the two-legged hurdles and the international skids, which sounds like what Gary used to get when he saw Vinnie Jones' name on the Wales team sheet. <laughs> Channel 5 have said they're willing to consider all novelty joke sports for inclusion in the programme, although they will be drawing the line at Scottish football. <laughs> at the end of that round, David's team have six points and Gary's team have six points. Oh. It's the long year for return of our goal celebrations round. Gary's team, here's Thierry Henry notching one up in Arsenal's 2-1 win against Manchester City. Look at Arsenal again. We see that built on. Nice ball. Through to Henry. Henry! Now, the Premier League are happy to let us show the goal, but not the celebration that followed, because that would mean we'd be bringing football into disrepute. And that's Roy Keane's job. <laughs> so, here's a photo of it instead. And how do you explain the T-shirt, Gary's team, for the newborn kid? You were responsible for a newborn kid, weren't you? That goat you showed. <laughs> hey! Fantastic. Gazzard, it was written on his skin was, shit, I forgot the T-shirt. <laughs> what did you used to do Never when you celebrated when you scored? Can't remember. <laughs> what did you do? I used to go, yeah. <laughs> Sex on a stick, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> on, a, on a really important goal, it was more... Yes. <laughs> no, I've never oh, seen that. Because <laughs> <laughs> your bottom was in the sun, wasn't it, Susie? Oh, I knew you were going to mention this. It's unpleasant when you're there at Lanzarote on that beach wearing your thong and a sun photographer suddenly jumps up in front of me and I can't... <laughs> That's what the, uh, the Leeds players do, this, don't they now put their shirts over the head when they come out court? <laughs> <laughs> That's what all the Wolves players should be doing at the moment, really, isn't Are it? Are you a Wolves fan? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. I was brought up by Wolves. <laughs> is this not a reference to a friend of his who is the lead singer of oh, Texas, the popular one, Charlie Spiteri? Here's the correct answer for three points, yeah. Being a professional footballer, Thierry Henry is obviously mates with pop star Charlene Spiteri, the lead singer of Texas. The message was to congratulate her on the birth of her daughter, full name Misty Kid Heath. David Seaman did a similar tribute in the World Cup to a child called Misty Cross. <laughs> oh, Jesus! If I did We've got to sack like the Chuckle Brothers from writing on this. <laughs> 
Diego Forlan also promised to celebrate the birth of a friend's child after scoring his first goal for Man United. The baby didn't see it though, as she just started university. <laughs> FIFA has recently introduced rules banning players from lifting their shirts over their heads in celebration. The only exception they'll allow, obviously, is Luke Chadwick. <laughs> David Steen, it's the baby-faced assassin for you. Here come United again. Van Nistelrooy. Will he have a go? He will. Good save. Solskjaer again! Now, that kneeling position has become Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's trademark celebration, but what does it all mean? Actually, can I just check something? You, 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 were, you were born in Ghana? Yes. And you had well, no, I wasn't born in Ghana. Where were you born? I, live, I, live, uh, I was born in America. We don't have to be too specific, oh, it's okay. okay. <laughs> this isn't, I, I'm not from immigration, you're okay. You can... <laughs> so you're living in Ghana as a child, yes. and you've got what, a beautiful beach near the house somewhere? Mango tree. I love a mango! Yeah. Mango trees, fresh mango. Fresh mango. So what did you do? that was so awful that your parents moved you to Birmingham. <laughs> I think he might be uh, bringing to life a moment from a rare unseen episode of All Creatures Great and Small I Have, in which the vet <coughs> has to take the cow's temperature without a thermometer. <laughs> He's imitating, I believe, a popular singing star. Yes, it's Lester Piggott. <laughs> Just answer the question. No, we're having a good time. We are not having a good time. We only see each other once a week, and no one else visits him. He likes my little tiny. <laughs> we see, we talk, don't we? Oh, I see Elvis, she bloody prepared. Yes! Correct so for three good. points, thank you! Thank you. Yes. It is the Norwegians moving tribute to Elvis Presley who was wont to adopt the pose in his pomp. Solskjaer says that Elvis is my eternal hero and I dedicate all my goals to the King. Coincidentally, Diego Forlan dedicated his last goal but one to the King, the then King, George V. <laughs> Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is not the only man at Old Trafford with three names. There's Rude Van Nistelrooy and Alex Bastard Ferguson. <laughs> and at the end of that round, David's team have nine points and Gary's team have nine points. Time now for some legalised groping as we play Field the Sportsman. David and Jonathan, you're up first this week. <coughs> David, I'm going to get it amongst you this week. Oh, yeah. I've got my jumpsuit on. <laughs> as you can see, it's an all-in-one designed for both flexibility and easy access. <laughs> can we have our first mystery guest, please? Okay, you can start your feeling now. No, Nick, there's a gas leak. There is a gas leak. <laughs> hey, he's doing that thing. Hey, get down, David. It's the dance. What? I see an oops up side your head. I see an oops up side your head. I see what? I see an oops up side your head. I see an oops up side your head. I see what? I see an oops up side your head. What the? <laughs> Don't make him angry. <laughs> I think he's got a gun. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. There's some lines on it. Is it Sue Barker? <laughs> but, he feel, I tell you, he's a fit fella, but he feels a bit... Well, he feels quite old. <laughs> really? He feels quite old? Yeah, he's got How a you know? on him. Is it your son? <laughs> what, Elijah? You know, I think he's... <laughs> <laughs> He's playing with the battling tops or the bay blades. <laughs> oh. No, it's over 70s no. rowing champ, Bert Lear. Ah, oh, good. Oh, I've got his you. I don't know. He's a good guy. Oh, that's an arm. There's a fiddle. Gary Roy, your turn. <laughs> Can we have our second mystery guest, please? Okay, and 
and your time starts now. <laughs> the table. This Look is... at that. <laughs> wow! <laughs> this is... This is... Oh, this oh, is, oh, Rory, I'm at the net. Oh. <laughs> Can I just stay here? <laughs> now, come on, lads, we've hired this church hall for the band practice. Come on. <laughs> oh! Well, what's this? Oh, I think it's, it's, a, it's a 3D picture of Luke Chadwick. Yeah. <laughs> Can I serve? Go on then. Have you served yet? <laughs> is, it, is it ping pong? Yeah, who is it? Come on. Um, it's it's definitely a pong. Um, um, is it the it, Commonwealth English, Games English winning people? Commonwealth the English Commonwealth Games gold medalist. Can you say it? Yes, the England Commonwealth gold medalist. Tell the tennis team. <laughs> The scores at the end of that round are David's team with nine points and Gary's team with 12. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> we end, as usual, with the name game. The leaders go first, which is Gary's team. <laughs> Susie, could you pass those along to Rory, please? 90 seconds. Get as many names as you can. Your time starts now. Um, Vavavoom. Qu'est-ce que c'est le Vavavoom? Oh, Very good. This is a <laughs> square-faced... Um, thank you. Very good. <laughs> now, this, this, this guy is a footballer and his middle name is an Arsenal supporter. Holly Gunnar Solskjaer. Very good indeed. Th this, this guy came second in the Superbikes World Championship. Apparently his first name is an ancient... Troy Bayliss. Oh, you're gorgeous. Troy. This, <laughs> you presenting Treasure Hunt, you presented by this charming... Uh, Annika. Right. Yes. Annika. And, and Elka Reiser. <laughs> this is a crazy bikes rider. Oh no, Mrs. Here, no. Oh, Frankie oh, Alice. not first name. Fra Frankie. Yeah, and there's Keely. Very good indeday Excellent. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. One of the actors in it was Paul Newman. Paul, not Paul Newman. If if you know if Mark Lawrence, if Mark Lawrence had abandoned you, you'd have to get a new lover. <laughs> 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 he admits it. <laughs> All right. This is um, this is a U.S. female <laughs> golfer. Um, first name you could describe Diego Forlan, actually. Uh, yeah. Nancy. <laughs> what, do, what, 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 what does he do to the goals? Um, yes, yeah. misses. M that's close. Well, you know, if he was a bloke, it'd be mastery. So he's a he's mystery. <laughs> Missy. Mister. Missy. 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 Um, second name. First two letters of my second name. Final the first three. I thought, so. <laughs> Can you move on to 19, so 11. Oh, 11. 11. Yes, 11. I'm Actually, sure it's... there was something going on there. Yeah. They were doing clues and getting them right. Well, that's not the point. <laughs> okay. Not it's time that. starts now. Mustachio genius of golf looks a little bit like a Mexican. Sue Barker. <laughs> <laughs> First name, I am. What, what I am. There's a Sam and Torrance. second name. Yeah, there you go. Wake up, for God's sake. We're meant to be playing the game. It's against that's... the clock. <laughs> He was a he's a campaigner. He was telling Tyson off earlier for homophobic comments. Tatchell. Yeah, Mr. Peter Peter Tatchell. Tatchell. Okay, uh, for, uh, first name, very large lady, bit of a minger on Big Brother. <laughs> That's the one. Second name, you like Miami That's Vice, so didn't you? You used to base yourself on this guy with the rolled up sleeves, yes. Don uh, Johnson. Johnson. There you go, well done. In the Simpsons, the dad is no. called uh, Mr. Mr. Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And the second name, dear oh dear, where should we go with this? Okay. <laughs> It's the, it's the current US president. Ah, uh, yeah, is that sort of Bush? You've got to wake up with that! How long does it take? Lincoln, is it? All right. Uh, OK, here we are. Homer's wife is Mrs... Uh, Homer Simpson. No! <laughs> Simpson. 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 Second yeah, name. First name. Remember that lady prime minister we had you said was too left wing? Uh, Thatcher, yeah. Yeah, first name? Um, uh -huh. Mrs... <laughs> no! Alright, second name. Hey, what's the matter with you? I'm a running to church. I'm a running to church. <laughs> the no respect. The right, Pope. The Pope. Uh, <laughs> now, David's 
team has got 14, but this week's winner is Gary's team with 19. So incredibly, for only the 14th <laughs> on, time... <laughs> incredibly, for only the 14th time in 14 series, the last show <laughs> has ended with a tie-break. Wow. So we're going to bring back the table tennis table and ask our six panellists to play round the table. Oh, yeah. Okay? Up you all get. The rules are very simple. Miss a shot and you're out. Oh, the last one standing wins. You've got to warm up. It's important to warm up. Before, before a match, you've got to warm up because your hips could go for four. <laughs> You've got to get the you've got to get the hip go flexors go. going. Listen, go, go. Ready? Ah! Oh. 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 I had not warmed up. You are out. <laughs> you did not give me. You are out. Yeah. You did. Yeah. 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 No. Well, yeah. listen. Yeah. He's, he's, he's the kid at school really who was always <laughs> last pick. That's Susie. That's Susie. Susie. Can you find that funny? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Quick! Pick a oh, 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 you're out. Oh, that's not Come on, sit up with that. We'll have a Rory, move around. <laughs> Come on, we're both out. Okay, right. That's all right. Okay, Gary, go. Hey, Gary, oh. look what I got. <laughs> hey, good luck with the game. I tell you what, you take your f***ing time, mate. <laughs> we're all right, aren't we? <laughs> nice big soft one, apparently. Oof. Ah. Oh. Right, you're out. Oh. I'm off. Hey, I'm come over here. We'll have a consolation <laughs> cup. I've got another leg. I'm fine. I tell you what, there's room for everyone. Come on. I'm lucky. You know what? Gary, I, I now realise I wish I'd played more sport when I was little. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. Gary's out. <laughs> OK, David versus Rory. This will decide it. Let's go. Don't have to run round. Go. He's still out to run around. Come on. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> David Gower, series winner. <laughs> David Steen is indeed the winner. Our thanks to Gary, Rory and Susie, David, Jonathan and Nashia. We're all off to ask Anna Kornikova some inappropriate questions. <laughs> My name's Nick Hancock. They think it's all over. It is now. But it will be back later in the year on BBC One. Next Friday at 9.30, a return of Have I Got News For You. And don't forget, Nick Hancock's back tomorrow morning from 6 with Fish on 5 on 909 and 693 AM, BBC Radio 5 Live.